genetically right now, our animals haven't, it's like we're still in a state where we haven't fully ascended beyond eating other animals. So right now their genetics require them to have very high protein diets which does mean eating other animals. It's their lineage, that's my opinion. If you were to talk to other vegan, vegans and vegetarians, they might disagree with me. But everything that I know, even through animal communication, I have many times spoken with animals who have been you know, given like non, you know, vegan and vegetarian diets and they're not typically too happy about it. <laughs> and they're not physically well either. Their physical bodies really suffer from it. I'm a big proponent of a species appropriate raw organic canine and or feline food, you know, and feline foods. So, you know, like uh, you can get pre-prepared or else you can get a recipe and do it. If you have time, like if you have time, you can get the recipe and make it yourself. It's really easy. And I always encourage my clients, make it once a month, freeze four, do four separate containers, freeze three and have one week supply. So I go for raw, organic, species appropriate. And you have to do organic because you, you know, it's just cleaner food. Um, but otherwise, if you, if you have the money, you can buy it you know, at Sentinella Pet Food, for example, or any of the major pet food stores, they have raw. And that's what I recommend because it really, it's so much better for them. Their bodies are made to eat. They're bred from wild animals and their bodies are still designed to eat raw. And, they are really a species adapted for it. So that's my... Uh, it's, if an animal eats um, really badly, like in the street, that he can get better?